You know what happens? You don't write this check. What happens? You go to jail. So that means you go to jail. Look at that, baby. Paying the IRS. Thank God you're the only one who has to pay the taxes, not me. Bullshit. You owe me half. <laughs> it's funny, women always want to claim half, but they don't want to pay half. That's the part I don't understand. No checks over a hundred million or more accepted. The IRS cannot accept a single check, including cashier's checks, for amounts of a hundred million or more. If you're sending a hundred million or more by check, you will need to spread the payments over two or more checks. Some people have to write hundred million dollar checks. Imagine they put that on there. That they, how many people have to write a hundred million dollar check? What's the biggest uh, tax bill you ever paid? This is probably it. This is probably it. A million a quarter. So we're out in the field today. We're gonna look at some properties. We're gonna work on our portfolio. And I have a friend from New York City that's here. He's down here helping me and hanging out because he has a lot of experience. He saw this property online and he said, hey, there's a hotel for sale. Well, he knows I'm trying to sell hotels. Let's go see what they're looking for. Let's go see what they're about so we know the market on the hotels that we're selling. Unfortunately, I don't like the area. And it clearly see right here that they're not maintaining it. You can't have a hotel and let it look like this, not even for one day. They want $19 million for this thing, 140 a key. The income, the income is there. They say the income is there. Who knows? You know, everything has to be verified. It's a very busy street, but it's not a location for a hotel. All the other places around here are small, little, no brand mom and pops and they have no real market. You're basically buying the nicest place in not such a great location. And that's not what I like to do. Now we're going to Port Street. We got some issues there we got to deal with. Nice. Building's nice, yeah, but yeah. who cares? The building could be the Taj Mahal if you're in a shit neighborhood, then who cares? Yeah. And it ain't been just there one day. You can yeah, tell yeah. the shit's dried out and been sitting there for weeks. I mean, this is depressing as fuck. That's a closed up hotel. That's yeah. not even open. <laughs> even the Wendy's looks sad as hell. Well, look at the line they got. That's the only decent restaurant around Lovely. here. Look at this shit. Triple X, more shitty hotels, bums. This guy's got a cane and a sign. Yeah, boyfriend and girlfriend. She's waiting to take her turn when he gets done. What? We own this building here up to the motel. There's a sign for lease. I wish we could have a better sign, I know. That sign should really be in the front. Why can't we be in the front? Hey, what's the story with the uh, big giant container in our parking lot behind Outback? That's um, Outback. They've been doing a remodel on the inside of the property and they painted the whole outside. Oh, okay, uh, great. It's a remodel, yeah. Very nice. Okay, we're here today at the 4th Street property because, number one, I haven't been here in a while, so I want to check out the uh, property itself. But number two, it looks like we are having some, uh, we might have a vacancy on the second floor. And second floor retail is very hard to rent. Empty space means empty pockets. This Panera here does a great business, but they don't have a drive through That's another issue we're dealing with. You know, he went with Bark, where I really wanted rocks, but, oh shit, don't hit me. Look at this. Look at the line in there. The business they're doing is tremendous, so let me take a picture of this. These staircases, we just cleaned them and painted them, I thought. If you have a problem and you need to address it, whether you're gonna address it or somebody else, so you don't forget, and all notes and all that crap, take a picture. A picture will tell you everything. What the hell is it all the way down there? Who the hell can read it? Maybe that's the point. What's the expiration date on that, shorty? So this is the second floor. The tiles and the ceiling look decent. This has a positive vibe, you know? Everybody's positive around here. Everything's cool. Why the hell is it on 71? That's too damn cold. Right, we don't need heat until it hits at least 70. I get 69. Is that for Jews or is that a mask? Is it a yarmulke or is it a mask? Picasso's moving. That tells the whole story. Picasso's moving. We got a space coming empty. We know it's coming empty. We got some time. Now, what do we do with that time? A, we try to re-rent the space as is. Then we don't have any big investment to make. But B, we could probably get four one-bedroom apartments at 2,000 square feet. But it's probably gonna cost me about 50 grand with kitchens and bathrooms to do that. So do I invest $200,000 into that space and rent out to four apartments? 
or do I leave it alone and just try to run it out to a new tenant? Value-wise, it would probably be the same. Okay, the space is probably gonna bring in the same income as the apartments would because the apartments won't be on a triple net. The space will. And I don't think one bedroom's here in this, in this neighborhood. You might get 1,500 a month or 6,000 a month. Right now, the tenant would probably pay about, um, with cam and everything, probably about, about five. So I'll get $1,000 more, but I got a month, which is only, what's that, 1,000, 12,000 a year. But I have to invest $200,000 to get it. That's not a great investment. Are there a lot of apartments nearby? <clears throat> no. No, right? So There's a, a very... Little happen in the area, you know? People are drinking, they're partying, they're working. They're everything around. It's a good clientele around here. You see the Panera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Panera's actually better than the Starbucks because they have better food. Now we're going to head over to John's Pass because we've got our big project going on over there. But first, a word from our sponsor. Whether you're a big shot or not, protecting your personal information is very important. Google your name and see what you find your address, your email, even your phone number. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn about you. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an identity debt protection, fraud monitoring, password manager, all in one app, baby. They monitor the dark web for information like your social security number, addresses, and even bank accounts, and will alert you fast. Go to Aura.com slash Ben Mella, and you can get a two-week free trial and see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Thank you, Aura, for sponsoring this video. Now let's go to John's Pass and show you how we're gonna make some more money. Remember this? It was empty retail. Now it's 10 hotel rooms making money, baby. And now what are we gonna do? We're gonna do it again. We're here at John's Pass, and we're looking at doing more development. What happened here? We had a tenant. Well, it was a good tenant, it was nice, but it's hard. It's hard for a business to be on the second floor, okay? It's not easy access for all the tourists and community to come to. So, it worked out best for him and us to move on. Here he is, baby! Hola. Our in-house developer. Tony, I won't tell you his last name, you still want it. See what Tony's got for us today. <coughs> there, no, no, I'm fine, okay. It was an escape room. Now Tony's gonna come in here and do what he's done before. What can we do with it? We can actually get nine hotel rooms out of this. Very similar in size to the others. We're gonna have to gut all this out now. So we have the architect's drawing and they're gonna give us a demo plan so we can actually tear it all out and see what we really have to work with, where columns are and support walls are. This was the jail? Now you're where you belong, Polak. Yeah, we have to gut the whole place. Uh, electrical, air conditioning, plumbing. We have to in put nine bathrooms in here. Um, a whole bunch of new exit doors on this side. He's gonna pretty much tear it down to a shell and build it out. Yep. Probably one room, that'll be a door to a room. It would. So this will be one room right to here. So we'll put a bathroom in there and then this will be a guest room. There you go, right here. We got a room, we got a door. That's one room. Now, this will be a door, door be another room. into a room here. So this room, all this will tear out. Now we're up to two. This will be the window for that room and then another wall here. Then this will become a room. This window is gonna have to come out and get turned into a door and a side light like we did on the other rooms. So we're up to one, two, three rooms to here. And then the fourth room, we're gonna reuse both of these doors like we did last time. One of them's gonna get frosted out with the hardware removed, turned into a window. This will get a key card lock and everything on it like a hotel room. So that'll put us to about four, four right about here. Then the same thing, this will have to come back down, turn into a door with a skylight. We're up to five. Then the same thing on this one, this will become a window, this will become a door. That's six, and then this is, gonna be room number seven that has to be cut down and put into a door. Seven, you said nine. The next unit over is the next two. Two rooms? Yes. Very good. Hey, it's all just empty space, look at this. All this shit comes out. You're gonna turn it into a big empty box and start from scratch. 
We can't reuse any of these walls anyway, probably. No, they're all in the wrong spot and they have to be fire rated. And... But save these interior doors when we demo. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they'd be great for bathrooms and things. And then we're not messing with the ceiling, right? We're not doing the whole loft thing and all that, right? Well, we have to tear out the ceiling because it's got to be a hard ceiling. And Why? Fire rules, Has fire to regulations be? and rating. Yep. Oh, and, um, but once we tear it all out, we'll see how high up it goes. I think it's like, oh, another, it goes like another 20 feet up. And there are some skylights in there. Mm. So it might make sense to look at doing a loft, but we won't know till, until we demo it all out. He, what he wants to do is he wants to put rooms in, and within the room, he wants to have a bedroom up here, like for parents and kids or something. But it won't be yeah, much like privacy little, in the top. Nah, it'll be a, just a fun loft for on Or vacation. beds. No, you put beds up there. Yeah, a bed up there and a bed downstairs and a bathroom. And you might not be able to do it, but we won't know until we tear everything Could out. we do a two-story room where that room's enclosed up there, and you just have that round staircase going up, and then you have privacy? Two-room suites. You Ooh. Could. Yeah. So this will be the only room, because it has the two windows on this side, that'll actually have a water view. <clears throat> Look at that view if you rent this room. If you rent this room, you could sit out here and see the entire Gulf of Mexico. I like you, I like you, I like you. But let's not take forever like you did the last time. You can't blame COVID this time. Oh, nope. And don't order a bunch of fucking hardware and then uh, not use it and then disappears what the money went to. Now, if you got to pop in any windows, can you save any of these or no? Not worth it. Um, yeah, we could probably reuse them somewhere. And then I called Ben Jr. yesterday. I had an idea. Uh, yeah, so this will become a door and a window with a room, and then that'll become a door for that room. So right here, Ben, since this is going to be all hotel on this floor, we don't really need these public bathrooms That's here That's what anymore. I was telling him, yeah. You want to make it a laundry room. Yeah, so since there's two of them, we thought about actually making this a little office since it has a window. We could even turn it and it'll have a little bathroom with a little office. And then take that one. And Let me ask it. you this. It's not big enough. It's only nine feet. What do you mean? I looked at it. It's only nine feet deep. No, take them both. Yep. Leave one bathroom and make the rest of it a room. What's, what's in between them? Nothing. Yeah, you I, can't make the whole thing a room? We can't. It's too small. It's only nine feet wide inside. So if we take this plumbing out, washer, dryer, storage for bedding and towels, and you know this becomes a laundry room because you'll have 23 units here. We now. can knock that wall out and just put it. We can, but this is only how wide the room would be. What's the legal say? Uh, not that. <laughs> you can't do nine feet? Not, not, no, they, no. Have, they have size measurements I mean, on the width? a single bed. No, I'm saying you put... If you walked into the room, you would have five. And you had a door there leading to the bathroom with a toilet or some shit. We couldn't take away from that bathroom any space. And how much is the whole square footage of it? Nine by twenty. Inside dimensions. That's one hundred eighty square feet. Yeah, it's a little. It looks big enough for a fucking room almost. We made the bathroom smaller. Yeah, well, if you think about it... Is there the, minimum requirements for the square footage of a room? You don't know. There isn't, but there's minimum square footage for, like, how wide a bathroom door has to be. And so you're going to have about three feet just taking the bathroom. So now you only have six feet for a bed, and a bed's five feet wide. All I'm saying is if you can convert that to a room, it's worth a couple hundred grand. True. I mean, I can look into it. But look into it and really see. I used to build bedrooms at 100 square foot. That leaves you... And then you don't need any hallways or nothing. How long is it going to take to build it? A couple months for architectural planning and getting the permits, which should be pretty easy, the permit side of it. Let's see, 10 rooms, six months. Then we'll have 19 rooms in John's Pass Hotel with four condos across the street. Come on down, book your room. We're waiting for you. Look at this. You can be right here across the street from the beach with all kinds of shops and a boardwalk and activities to do. This is a vacation spot. What are you waiting for? Plus, we need the money. The rock bottom real number it would take to open that place up, and how much cash would it take? And the money has to go six hundred thousand. Go back, and, go back, and tell them this, what's the real number. Don't be afraid to say, ask people that question. What's the real number? The All right, what would it cost you? Tell them. Go ask them. Tell them you got an interest in it. Even I don't know. Bullshit them. You know. We need, yeah, what, what, what is he giving an investor? Because, you know, talk is talk. We'll go back to them now, maybe things change, maybe it'll come down to reality. 
you know, but I'm sure an investor is not going to just go off a phone call. The real estate market is a roller coaster right now. Why? We all know why. Because of the banks. Because of the interest rate. Now's the time for you to get a plan. This is the year. It's all about timing. You can go to venmail.com slash shop, get me on the phone, or book a private meeting. It's going to be a busy year. Get me on the phone. Go to venmail.com slash shop. Do a consult with Ben. Go find a deal. And if you don't know how to find one, call me, and I'll tell you how to find them. Subscribe. Watch another video. Hit the like button. Adios, amigos.